comes Lord McGillicuddy of Norfolk. <laughs> that is me, <laughs> presiding over my realm, Lucaville. In the wrinkliest t-shirt he could find for day night. McGillicuddy, tell the kids what we're doing today. We want to go eat some Japanese food, but it doesn't open until 3. I did not check the restaurant opening times. And it's like 12.30 now. <laughs> so this is impromptu the movie. We're going to a movie theater, man. First time in three years. In three years since the panorama hit us originally. We have not been to a movie, but Miguel's parents are here. They're babysitting. They're babysitting. I feel a little weird about it, but it's going to be fine. I have to learn how to leave the house sometime. Right, Miguel? You definitely do. <laughs> So, how exciting. What's in theaters, dude? Yeah, what's even in theaters? We, we're gonna get to this movie theater and not even know what we're gonna see because we're gonna see whatever the first one is that's playing. Probably, yeah, <laughs> so, pretty much. That'll be fun. And Mike said that I could have candy, so I'm very pleased about that. But anyways, guys, welcome back. My name is Biz. If you're new here, this is Miguel. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. We'd love to have you along on the journey. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And we'll just see where today takes us. You're just gonna hang out on this impromptu, serendipitous date day. Made it to the cinema, as they say. Miguel's updating his parents as to where we are and why it might actually not just be a quick little lunch date. It's not a very sexy cinema from the outside, but we'll <laughs> see what it looks like on the inside. But like, I was so spoiled with the AMC in Kansas. Like, it was a Cynodyne. They brought me milkshakes and hamburgers and chicken fingers and if you wanted to get fancier they even brought you cocktails to your seat like that spoiled and when Mike would have to go away to like trainings and stuff that's what I would do to entertain myself I would go to the cinema all the time and enjoy a milkshake in peace so Miguel didn't have to judge me for eating like a child So we went to the Lost City, which was so good, I thought, in my opinion. It was getting so many like Bravo celebrity commercials. Lindsay and Carl from Summer House got to do a commercial for it. And I was like, eh, is this not gonna be that good? It was actually super good. What did you think, Wingo? I thought it was really funny, entertaining, lighthearted, it was good. Yeah. Daniel Radcliffe is such a good actor, and he's been going around and telling everybody about his girlfriend, Aaron, in all of his interviews. And he keeps saying Aaron, but we all know that he means Biz. He's just very confused right now. Also, my boy Miles Teller was in a preview. We haven't seen him in a few years. That's my real boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the next one, and the next one. How many? <laughs> No, I'd say like Miles Teller is probably still my main man right now. Yeah, but he like had the audacity to go and marry a supermodel in 2020 and didn't ask me. Are they still together? Yes, I think so. Give it a year. Also, he's way older than I think he is. He's like, I think he might almost be 40 or he is 40. What? No I, way. I'm not kidding. I'll look it up. Okay. I'll put it in my little thing, my middle school editing and tell you how old she is. <laughs> That's my boy. A shout out. Mike was saying that Miles Teller is always portrayed as the bad boy because he has scars on his face. I don't think he's ever portrayed as the bad boy. I've read that somewhere or I've heard that in an interview somewhere. I don't think that's true. But anyway, we are now driving to the Japanese restaurant. It's like brand new. It just opened this month. I don't know if you know that. Did it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it just opened according to their website. Wow. And Google keeps trying to tell us that it's closed. But according to its website, it's open at 3 o'clock and we're supposed to get there at 4 o'clock. It's an hour drive from the movie theater. So this is turning out to be a much longer excursion than we <laughs> planned on. And I 
hope Luka Chooch doesn't miss us too much. It's like he's currently napping very soundly. Good. So it's kind of a shortest vlog. Sorry about that. I thought it would, be, it would be more exciting. I wanted to share what we got at the restaurant, but when we went inside, it's a brand new restaurant. I think I told you guys that, but when we went inside, it was so small and there were like actual families, like lots of people that wanted to sit down and eat there. So I was like, Mike, let's just get it to go. We don't need to take up a space just the two of us so we got it to go and i got some ramen and he got a chicken dish i'm not sure what it was but i got this um y'all have probably seen them it's like a, a giant rice triangle wrapped in seaweed and i cannot remember the name of it but it was so good i got that with salmon inside and they make it with pickled plum or salt or salmon and i told mike if he ever wanted to just like Mike's putting Luca down, so he's really tired, <laughs> if you can hear him in the back. But I told him if he ever wanted to surprise me one day with a little treat, I would take three of those and that would be like my whole meal. It was so good. But we're going to put Luca down and then I'll see if Mike is up to it, but we might want to do a few of the Let's Get Deep questions to end this for you guys. So I'll be back in a sec. Would you like to give me a quick review of, of the new Japanese street food restaurant that we went to? Mm, my food was good. I was expecting something a little different. I didn't realize it was street food. Um, I didn't get to try the little rice triangle, which sounded like it was delicious. It was so good. Um, but very, I mean, it was good. I will get it again. Yeah. Their ramen was good. Like, I liked it. But I really liked the rice... I'll have to look up the word for you guys and just let you know. So I was going to do, we've done the um, let's get deep questions before, but I don't think I actually included us answering them in the last video. So I thought that we would end this with answering three sets of them. How's that sound, Miguel? Let's do it. This is the game. Pretty sure it's going to be backwards to you guys, but it's let's get deep. But same people who made what do you mean? Sometimes there are sexy time questions, just so you know. It is for like 17 plus, but it's a lot of just fun relationship questions. Would you agree, Miguel? Yeah, most, most of them, majority, yeah. Okay, so what I did, how you usually play is you do one icebreaker, two of the deep questions and two of the deeper questions, but I just drew at random one of each kind of card for three sets. So you ready? Let's do it. Do you want to read first? Sure. So I'm just grabbing this first one? Yeah, they're right here. So biz, cardio or yoga? Oh, yoga. Or no, 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 sorry, cardio. <laughs> Do I go too? Yeah, you just answer. I like, I mean, I like both. I haven't done yoga. I don't do yoga often. I do cardio more often, so I guess that'd be my answer. Okay, that's, when is the last time you even did yoga? Yeah, long time. Okay. Next. I only say cardio because I like to walk, but I... I get so pissed off whenever we have to do downward dog, and that happens in literally every yoga class. It really it does, just infuriates me. It's, it's a crucial, me. it's like a pillar, foundational one. What are the top three names you would give your children? Ooh, top secret information yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to share that. I will say one of the names we were going to use for Luca was Lorenzo, and we would call him Enzo. But I don't think we're going to use that in the future. There was a time that we were obsessed with the name Oliver. Yep. And did we have a... And I think Amelia. Amelia. Cecilia for Cecilia, a little bit. Cecilia, that's what it was. Cecilia. We were really hot on Cecilia for a girl, but we're not going to use those names anymore either. So I feel safe in divulging those. Okay. I've always been hot on the name Edwin. And mm -hmm. Mike like kind of likes that name, but I don't think we'll ever use that name. Because, like, yeah. I know exactly what our girl would be if we have a girl. Yep. And I I know what I really want for the second boy if we ever have a, oh, another boy. You haven't shared that, huh? I have multiple times. Okay, okay, yeah. I just don't think you're on board yet, but I think I'll get you there. Okay. Because I, I really sold you on Luca. Yeah, that's a good And one. Luca's name before he was Luca was actually Vincent for a while. Yep. I thought that, that was okay. I thought that was an okay name, yeah. But I don't think we'll use that either in the future. 
Yeah, we have a lot more boy names, it felt like. Yeah, I had a lot of boy names. Girl names, much harder. Okay. Yeah, harder. Which characteristic of your personality do you most admire? Um, of my own? I think so. Well, I think I'm really funny. Would you agree? Yeah, very funny. Am I funnier than you? Mm, it's toss up. I made you funny, though. I don't think mm. you were funny. In, I, in high school, I was a funny kid. In high, all my friends think I'm very that's funny. That's true. You're very But like, it's, it's not you funny as in... I'm always the wittiest with like quibs and like just funny that way. My aunt, my nature is funny. I do yeah. weird things and people think just it's the way funny. that you are is funny. But when you try to be funny, it's not funny. That's right. It's it. And I just, I'm more quick. Yeah, I'm just a hundred percent natural guy. That that is funny. It's my just antics. Still weird shit. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that statement. But I had you read. Your mom just brought that little essay oh for me yeah and yeah, i was yeah. thinking she brought it because it was funny like a little a child had written it uh-huh turns out it wasn't funny no it was just a child assignment there was literally nothing funny about it and so i was really disappointed when he read it and, and i think it's just further evidence that you weren't funny until you met me that's so. well that's not true well you weren't funny okay. in that essay and my essay i bet would have been really funny oh, okay do you have an answer for yourself so my honestly the more the thing I feel like I can really hang my hat on compared to a lot of other individuals in the world is my patience. Oh, yeah. I am a very, very patient, patient person. And I think that has served me very well. Except when you have to wait in a line. Mike really loses his shit if he has to be in a line. He can't handle it. But anything else, he's very patient. Like, patient with people. <laughs> with interactions. <laughs> But if you get this man in a line, he'll lose his shit. I try to avoid lines whenever <laughs> I can. Next group of questions. Yeah. Pool or hot tub? Oh, pool for sure. Hot tub. Hot tubs freak me out. I'm pretty sure that they're all disgusting. What's the craziest party you've ever been to? I haven't really been... Okay. I haven't really been to parties. And you really haven't eaten. Well, you went to a lot of parties in optometry school, actually. Okay, that's true. But my craziest one was in high school. It was the barn party. And I made a bunch of enemies at this party because apparently it was the party of the year. If you're not from the Midwest, people have parties inside of barns and it is called a barn party. And I went. It was in Yetter. <laughs> Yetter. Yetter, Iowa. And Legendary. I went. It was the only party I went to all of high school. It was on Valentine's Day. My boyfriend, Spencer, had just broken up with me. I was sexting this guy named Nathaniel at the time, if you just want all the background. And the whole time, we weren't sexting at the party. I was just texting Nathaniel that I was really annoyed that I was at this party because I was so over it. Everybody was so drunk. I had to meet Bree's boyfriend for the first time and... You remember the guy she was with when she had Madeline? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Had to meet him for the first time. And um, I didn't like him based on all the information that Brie had given me about him. And so he met me and knew that I didn't like him. Sweet. And he took me for a walk around the whole party to try to convince me to like him. And I was like, jury's still out, bro. I would say now that I know him a lot better, like post-Madeline, I like him. But in the, at the moment, I did it. But anyway, also about this party. It was so crazy. Everyone was having sex everywhere. Except me. I wasn't I even, I wasn't even never sexting. I to a sex party. This lit it, wasn't, it wasn't a sex party. That, that's a very different situation. Okay? It was just a party people were having sex at. And we lost Brie at Out one point. Out in the open or in, like, rooms? No, there were rooms. Okay. And we lost Brie at one point to one of these rooms. Okay. And potentially... One of my other friends that I will not name at the time right now. But then, but also I didn't want to drink because beer is disgusting. And that's all anybody ever has in high school. So I kept getting cans and having to pretend to drink them. And then I, then Caroline, she was another girl that we worked at, worked with at Taco John's. She would give me her empties and I would give her my full one. So we just had a nice system going. But I really had a terrible time. It was like, I, it was so annoying because I was the only sober person there. And I shit all over this party, like, figuratively. 
<laughs> Not literally. And, just figuratively. And all of these girls were like, that was the party of the year. And I was like, y'all need to try a little harder because it wasn't great. And that's that. So craziest parties, just regular beer drinking, games, nothing like that. Now you remember I had to come pick you up from a party? Yeah, I've gotten drunk before and yeah. had and gotten sick. And he had I had to pick him up, he had a garbage bag tied around his face, his neck. I had a little puke garbage bag tied around my neck neck, yeah. Another one too though, remember what was his name? Brody or Brady? Brody. Brody. Everybody in Opus 121 thought I was mad at them because I woke up in the morning and ran away. Who Slammed was he? the door. Who was it? Brady? I can't Brody. Remember. Brody, Brody threw up all over the Brody threw up red all over the bathroom. Wine punch. And I left. I like ran out of the the room after I discovered this. But it wasn't because I was mad. It was because I really had to fucking pee, and I couldn't do that there. Obviously, so I had to pee in my own room, which Couple was all the blocks. way in McGloin. I had to like sprint. I like a ten minute sprint, probably like a seven minute sprint. So again, that wasn't like a. It was a college drinking party. It wasn't. Yeah, that's our wildest stories, guys. Yeah. Mom and dad. Pretty crazy. Between us, who is younger at heart? I am younger forever. In this, all ways. This is interesting. Because <laughs> very often, lately, this one complains of, Ooh, I'm so old. My body, my hips, okay, my joints. Okay, you have a baby at 29 and tell me how your body feels at almost 30. You tell me. So, I'm younger at heart. No, you're younger, like, physically, but at heart is different. No, I'm I'm, I'm double young. I'm all younger. I'm super young. I'm the young guy. No. I reject that uh, information. Agree to disagree. Third set. Chinese or Mexican food? Chinese food. I think Mexican. I really enjoy a good burrito. What role do you play in your family? This is interesting. I'm interesting. I'm interested to hear what you say on this one. What role do you play in your family? What do you think I'm going to say? I don't know. I'm going to say instigator. Instigator, okay. <laughs> instigator, but also peacemaker. She likes to stir the shit and then <laughs> figure it out and put it back together. It's all about the in-between, though. She really relishes the in-between. Well, I think growing up, I was more of the peacemaker because there was so much chaos. But now that I'm older and I don't live with these people anymore, I'm definitely the instigator. Because I love to just... Rile people up. Everyone. Aunts, uncles, doesn't matter. There, nobody is safe around me. I'll get you. And then I love to be... I don't know why you're so... Gaslighting, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I come by it honestly. My dad's a Republican. What so my role in the family, I like bridge builder. I'm just there to smooth things over, try to keep the conversation flowing. Yeah. It, light and airy. We're all having a good time. All having a good time when Mike's there. Okay, but what about in our family, just the three of us? Yeah, for us. Uh, what's our dynamic? I mean, I'm a provider. I also take care of any problems that might arise i'm a fixer you need something i will get it for you you're the fixer yeah i'm the fixer you need something to fix i fix it you come to me with problems i solve problems what's my role then you're the caretaker you take care of everyone i do take care of everyone but i also fix a lot of problems who's better in a crisis miguel Who's better in a crisis? So you always bring up one crisis where I didn't respond well. But yeah, since but then, I feel like I respond to a crisis well. Make a plan. Start executing. Miguel. Get your can limits. you please be honest with your fans? Who's better in a crisis? It's I, me. I don't, I don't, I, okay. You might. I think we're on equal playing field. Oh, okay, Miguel. Now you're just being the I don't think I'm, I'm bad in a crisis. If, if, if there's like a lineup of 10 people and I'm in that lineup, you think you're going to pick me towards the end of the list? Is Ian in that list? <laughs> Is Kyle Dawson in that list? Then hell yeah, I'm picking those two first. For sure. Now, if the list is like you, Ryan, and Vicinio. Yeah. I'm picking none of you and I'm going to find Ian. 
<laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm better than average. I'm not the best. That's fair. Oh, Take okay. that. Read the last question. Ooh, sexy question. Did you did you handpick this? No, I did not. Really dumb. What to say? Maybe we won't answer this. Maybe we'll sub it out. What's it? What do you think our best sex was? It's too much. <laughs> Oh, I think we, we, you know, right? This is us just knowing. We're on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got a different question. Oh, okay. This is my, like, literally opposite ends of deepness. What's your astrological sign? Oh, Leo. I'm a Leo sun, Leo moon, Virgo rising. What are you, Leo? I'm a Pisces Aquarius cusp. No, but what's your chart? We did it finally. I'm still a cusp. You 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 lean more Aqu Aquarius, Miguel. You're like okay. a Aquarius Sun, and I think you're the same as me. Aquarius Sun is Aquarius Moon, and something rising. Do you want me to check? Yeah, I actually have it on my phone. I, I have it on my phone. I don't remember what your rising is. I do remember I'm a lot of Aquarius. Yeah, you're a lot of Aquarius. But Aquarius and Leo are the perfect match. I don't know if you guys know that. Where the opposites on the chart. Yeah, so Aquarius Sun, Virgo Moon, so, and then Aquarius Rising. So I knew he had two Aquarius in his top three. Boom. Yeah. Sun, Moon, Aquarius. But then I'm the Pisces. Yep. More and Aquarius, Aquarius Venus. More Aquarius, more Aquarius. So he loves like an Aquarius, and my Venus is in Leo. Like, how perfect are we? How perfect are we? <laughs> I want to do one more, though. That wasn't a very good one. What's the story of the first time you got drunk? Me? Yeah, that's the question. I think one of the first... Yeah, for probably the first time I got drunk was high school on a camping trip with all my friends. And, you know, we were just playing card games, hanging out, cooking food and stuff. But then we were playing some sort of game like Truth and Dare or something like that. And afterwards, I was just really giggly and like talking to everyone and being like, uh, I got, I'm like, I, do you, you guys get the spinnies? Like, this is so much fun. Look at me. Woo! If I move around. Did you puke? I did not. Oh, wow. I don't know the first time I got drunk, but it was definitely in college. And it would have been, I didn't drink in college until I was 21. It's a fact. So, and I don't even think I got drunk on my 21st because I had RA training. But you guys took me to the homie inn. Yeah. And I got, do you remember this? Oh my this? God. Well, we also took you to the. Uh, oh, the cigar bar. The Havana? That was fun. Yeah, what? Havana something. And you wanted an old fashioned. Yeah. And she was like, oh my God, this is so good. Took the first sip of like 100% grenadine. Yeah. And then took the second sip. She's like, Argh. It wasn't, Gross. wasn't good. I really wanted old fashions to be my drink. Turns out that wasn't the case. So then per my mom's requ re recommendation, she had me get an extra dirty martini. <laughs> Didn't like that either. That's disgusting. It is slimy. And I called my mom. Wasn't drunk, by the way. I just speak to my mom this way. <laughs> called her up to let her know that she gave me a drink that tasted just like semen and I was pissed because that is what it tastes like and it's slimy and gross don't ever get an extra dirty martini Ugh. yeah but I don't know the first time I got drunk though because I well, don't I get... know I know one time you got drunk and you don't like to share that story <laughs> we're not ever sharing that story okay Miguel should we sign off? How do do we, we, have, we don't have a sign off. It's just we don't have a sign later. <laughs> but thank you so much for hanging out with us, you guys. Hopefully, we will see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We'd love to have you along on the YouTube journey. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.